Hello, 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 everybody. It's Nancy Bastine, and I'm going to get a drink of my iced tea because I have a raspy throat. Hang on. I come today to, because I bought all these nice uh, background stamps that I haven't used. And I thought, you know, I've done this a million times and I've showed it a million times. But while I was doing it, I just thought I'd turn the camera on and talk to y'all. So, I have these beautiful background stamps and I'm stamping them on the white portion of the napkin. Then when I glue in my napkin book, I can use my own stamp napkins to glue in there. I thought that was a good explanation, didn't you? So anyway, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty where I'm only going to have a few crafting items left out uh, to craft with. And so I think my videos are going to get further and further and further apart. I'm hoping not because I really want to keep up on my YouTube channel. And it seems like I've been slacking off and I want to thank all my new subscribers. And if you subscribe to me and you have a channel, I would like to subscribe back to you. Now, this is the same stamp that I did here, and I don't have a, I, I don't, my stamp blocks, I can't find them. So, I've just left it on the acetate, and I'm just doing it this way, and it seems to be working just fine. So, I have my, um, my foam thing that I stamp on underneath here. Yeah, and I just thought... You know, I need to use these, um, try these stamps out because they're brand new and what better way to do it than to put it on here. Yeah, it's getting down to the wire on my moving and I'm getting real anxious about this move. But, uh, you know... When you're up in my age bracket, moving is not the thing that old people do very well. Change is not a, a good thing for us. But this one will be really good, I think. Oh, look, some of these I haven't even taken out of the package because they're so new. I haven't even, I just put them in my room and didn't even... Take them out of the package. So here we go. Yeah. So, and moving clear across the United States. You know, I did do that trip this last summer. And I did fine with it. So I'm not so worried about that. The only thing I'm worried about is the moving, the truck that we rent having it break down or something you know that can always happen but I should not worry about that stuff this one's a pretty one too look how pretty that is so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna ink it up I'm gonna ink it up and stamp it down so I'm not so, uh, at first I was getting really anxious about not having a place to move into because I didn't really want to move my stuff twice, but it's going to look like that's what's going to happen because I think it's going to be better if I'm there to look at the place 
that I might want to live in, the neighborhood, um, you know, all that good stuff. Now, rent.com has been sending me uh, apartments, and I don't want an apartment. I want a townhouse. I don't, out there, condos and apartments are basically about the same kind of uh, apartment, you know, living. But the townhouses are more, um, I wonder if I can get another one right here. Yeah, it's going to be pushing, it's going to be pushing the limits, so. I will put another one over here. So, I have just decided that I want a townhouse uh, with a garage and where you, now a lot of, this is another thing with townhouses out there. They're building like crazy in Utah. And they're basically running out of land. So they're building up. Now one townhouse that I was eligible to rent was a three bedroom townhouse with two and a half baths. Okay, you drive in the garage and you go up some stairs and you go on to the first level of your house. On the first level is a kitchen, a half bath, and a dining room. And I think the living room. Then you go up some more stairs on the second level. There's another bath. Oh, and the master bedroom is on that first floor. Okay, and then I go up to the second level up more stairs and you go I will save that I have little pieces that will little ones I think that will work on here so I'm going to set that aside and get a new one because I have a jillion of these just a jillion of them see just a, just a jillion of them and um second level you go up there's a full bath up there there is a laundry room oh I don't want to do that there's a laundry room a full bath and a bedroom then you go up the third level and there's another bedroom and a full bath now there's a lot of stairs. My son said he looked at one like that and they chose not to get that because it was so many stairs. And why would you have your laundry room on a second level of the house? Now I can see it if, if your, uh, now my, my son has two levels on his, and his three bedrooms are upstairs and a laundry room and, and his bed, his ma the master bedroom with the bathroom off of it, and two other bedrooms and another bath, and a laundry room. And what's a laundry room is just a closet that has louver doors, you know, and Anyway, it's weird. Now this background stamp is separate stamps and I could take them all off of this, but I'm not going to because I don't know where my stamping things are. And this piece is kind of torn, this napkin. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So they're building up. So I think... What I'm going to do is just go out there and take my time. My son said I could live with him forever if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I want to have my own place. 
you know how that goes and those are not stamping too well but they're grunge stamps I think oh, let's do that one again so I am not getting anxious over that my stuff will just go in and I'll just get a storage unit We'll unload my stuff in a storage unit, and um, the only furniture I'm taking, or the only real big stuff I'm taking is the washer and dryer. The rest of this stuff I'm selling or giving to thrift stores, or I'm even getting rid of my bed, and I'm going to buy a new one when I get out there. So, when I get into an apartment or a townhouse, I'll buy a new furniture because I think I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> well, you know, I will have a few months of rent that I won't have to be paying, and so... That will help out. My son's not going to charge me a whole lot of rent. I don't think he's going to charge me any rent. Just, you know, things that I might want to buy. You know, to help them out. But anyhow, I got doggies at the back door wanting to go outside. Of course, as always, this happens every time I get on here. So, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And while I was gone, I decided that I might want some of these in different colors other than black. If I'm going to be putting them in my napkin book. So, I got some different colors of stamps. So, I'm going to... This one... Is a new one also they're all new I've never used them and they're still in the original packages I think I told you that um, and I didn't take time to take them out which is stupid of me I should have done that so um, okay what I'm gonna tell you is I got in my mail a letter that stated that there was like a neighborhood, it's called Next Door, Next Door something or other. I'm gonna not taking this off, I'm just going to stamp it all in one piece. And you can go on there and you can post things like if you have things for sale, if you need handyman, if you need... Um, if you've lost your animal or you know all kinds of things you can post on there and uh, I did a post on there because for several days I had not seen a mailman or gotten any mail and that worries me because I'm expecting some pretty important mail and uh, you know, there was several people in the neighborhood that was um, saying that they hadn't seen or heard a mailman either. And, and they told me to go on a website where, um, and I joined it, where it's from USPS where you can get your mail scanned and a picture taken of the mail that is supposed to be delivered to you that day. And they will email it to you. Is that pretty cool or what? So anyway, um, I need to find my lip balm because I've got some really chappy lips. And I'm afraid it's not where I usually... Oh, here it is. I found it. Anyway, let me put this on. I have really chappy lips. I don't know. The dry weather, I guess. The dry 
with the heater on. Ooh, pretty. That's pretty, pretty. Maybe I'll stamp that one again. So, um, I live in a Cape Cod house where the bedrooms are upstairs. And my mother-in-law bought Wes and I a Tempur-Pedic Euro bed, which means the Euro means that it's a bed that the head and the head and the feet rise and it vibrates. She bought that for me, especially for me for my fibromyalgia and so anyway it is really 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 heavy and the box springs doesn't come off of the bottom it's like it's all one piece and then the mattress goes on top of that yeah it was bought in 2007 so it's a pretty old bed and it's pretty big and um, I when I moved in to this house when we moved in here I had hired a uh, moving people and it took a guy it took three or four guys to get it up in that room and I might have to hire them again to get it out but the thing of it is, is I don't know where to dump it. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't want to take it to Utah with me because I want to. I want to downsize my bed. I don't need a queen size bed. the o The only thing that sleeps on the other side of me is my computer. When I watch my computer at night, we're changing colors. I'm going to a imperial purple. Yeah. So that's the only thing that sleeps next to me. My dogs are not even allowed on my bed. They have their own bed and they've always been trained to go in their own bed because I just did not want dogs in my bed when Wes was alive with me. So anyhow, um, I think I am going to post on that neighbor that next door neighborhood thing. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna stamp it again. And see if I can get some people, hire some guys that will come and get this bed out of here and know of a place to dispose of it. Because Anytime, it ha I don't think you can dispose of it through the garbage, di you know, the garbage people, the mattress. It all has to be wrapped up in plastic because of the bed bug situation. Even though it's a Tempur-Pedic mattress, bed bugs don't like it. There's nothing in, in the bed that the bed bugs like to eat, so, or lay their eggs in, so it does not attract bed bugs, but... Um, that is really pretty. So, anyhow, but, you know, the garbage people have their rules. And I really hate for it to go into the landfill. But you know what? <sighs> Sometimes, some things just have to go into a landfill. There's just no other way of getting them not to go into a landfill. I'm trying to find a smaller... I thought I had another side. Well, I kind of do, but not that small. Okay, so I'm going to set this one over here aside. And get another one. And where are they? Where did I put them? Oh, over here. Now, this one has... Uh, residue from the outside. It has kind of a ghost picture. 
of what was on the outside of it. And I looked out my window. Well, I kind of, well, I always look out my window. But the other day I looked out and the trees are getting green. They're just getting a little green tinge to them. It's too early for the trees to bloom out, but we've had exceptionally different, different kind of weather this winter. It's been cold and rainy and very little snow, but a ton of rain. So much so that my sister-in-law had a tree in her backyard that was just becoming uprooted. Now, this is two different stamps, but I'm going to just stamp one and then stamp the other, and I think I'm going to use um, crimson red. I left my stamp block open when I went out, when I went to let the dogs out. I don't know if it dried up or not. I haven't yet tried it. Shouldn't have for that amount of time, but you know, you never know. Okay, let's see what this one comes out. These are really nice stamps. I got them off the AliExpress, of course. That's where I get most of my stamps and stencils, where they're cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. Let's see what this one's going to turn out to be. I love these background stamps. And this way I can just take a piece of them or the whole thing. And yeah, let's see what this one does. Ooh, pretty, pretty. I'm going to stamp it again. I have a new lighting system. Well, it's not a new lighting system. It's a lamp that I have had. It's a LED, LED light bulb. And it's in a little lamp. And I got it off to my left side so it's it's over there, it's over there, it's over there, over there, and it's shining in, and the other one I turned off because I was getting so many shadows from it, and I'm hoping this is, it looks like it's bright enough, and I'm hoping that it comes out okay. shows that it's really bright on my computer so I just hope this is it does that it's not too dark when I go to edit this video so yeah I'm going to um <sighs> get on that next door thing and see if there's anybody that could help an old lady out. My kids are coming out, my boys are coming out, but I don't want them to have to hassle with that bed trying to get it out. I mean, I would rather hire somebody than to hurt my kids' back. Um, you know, I'd rather pay somebody to do it. Alright, now we're going to do the other side in a different, this other one. This one looks like that. It has circles. I love it. And I think I'm going to do that one. That one, other one was done in the crimson red. This one I'm going to do in toffee. These VersaFine ink pads, I have had them forever. Since I started doing mixed media. And uh, 
they have I have never had to re-ink them they have been so juicy and nice This looks like it's in a, like it has a frame around it. And it looks like I got some ink on the inside of this. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but anyway, let's try it. These are just background stamps, Nancy. They're not, you know. I have been going through stuff and stuff and stuff and you know us crafters are such hoarders and we have such a hard time releasing things and I haven't used these paper pads in since I was a uh, scrapbooker and a card maker and I bought so many of these pads, scrap pads. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to do that one again. And, um, do you, and, it, and I'm never going to use them. I keep thinking, well, I'll use them in junk journals or things like that. And I never have. And yet, when I look at them, and I think, oh. And then I go, oh, I can't part with that. I can't, I can't give that away. I can't, you know. Uh, is anybody else like that? I just am so upset with myself that I cannot just say it's gone. You don't need it. If you need any paper, you can always go, you can always make your own now. You know how to make your own. You don't, you know, you get magazines in the mail. You don't need all this craft paper. And, oh, that it came out really pretty. Now, where did I put the, uh, right here. thing why I'm stamping these stamps is they're going to get packed. And, uh, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm getting down to the bare minimum. Plus, I wanted to see how well they stamped. When you buy new stamps, you want to make sure they work good. And I've heard that sometimes you have to sand these. A little, give them a little bit of a sanding. I've never had to do that with my um, acrylic stamps. I've never had to do that. This one is really grungy. See that? And I love that circle with the threads hanging out. Yeah. So let's see. Let's try my black and see if it dried out. No, it's still juicy. Man, you can do almost anything with these stamp pads. Okay, here we go. I'm going to stamp this one twice. Because I might use this one. This is kind of steampunky. With the clock and stuff on it. I should have stamped that in a gold. I don't have any gold. Toffee, I guess. Toffee is like a gold. Isn't that like a gold color? That one right there is to me. Oh, how nice. That is cool beans. Let's do it again. Got to 
make sure that I close my stamp pads. I have another black one. So I'm not too worried that I'd run out of black. And Versafine is you can glue over it, paint over it, doesn't run after it's dried. You have to make sure it's dry. All right, we only have a few more to go and then I'm gonna quit and upload this video and then I think I want to do some uh, gluing in my glue book and my chunky monkey because that stuff is going to get packed. Oh, nice. How nice. That looks really nice. Really nice piece of napkin. Okay, we got another one over here. Let's see. Let's put this one away. Where's the... piece of plastic. Usually these pieces of plastic never stick on them again the second time. I've never been able to get them to stick on there very good, but I try to because they lose their sticky. Then they don't want to stick on a stamp pad. I've let that, I've let some of my rubber stamps dry out like that. And then they don't want to stick I'll tell you which ones are really bad are the Tim Holtz and the and the Dilution Diane Reedley stamps. They don't want to stick back on their little thing. At least I've had a hard time. Now this one's got an eye on it. Ooh. I did have that big old eye stamp. I still have it. And I found a picture. I took, the, I, when I first moved here in this house, I ordered two years of the We W magazine because Gina Ahrens said she loved that magazines to get images out of them. Well, they're huge. They're huge magazines. They're big. They're not like the regular size magazine. These magazines are big. And I thought to myself, I thought, man, how am I going to ever use any of those? And, it, you know, it's just models and stuff in there. But I was going through them the other day, and there was this one, and I had saved it because there was this lady on the cover of it. And her eye, her one eye was just all decked out and beautiful. She had color, black colored skin and this eye was just, so I took the cover off of it thinking, well, but you know, they have the advertisement, the writing over it, the big W on it. But I was going through the magazine, which I'm glad I did because I found a page where she was in that page. This is a blue, this is majestic blue and she had a page in there and oh I tore that out it is gorgeous even if I just cut the eye out of the, it is it is so pretty but I can't show you because I think I already packed it but if I haven't I'll get it out at the end of this video and um, put it on the end and you can see how pretty that is. But anyway, I had two years of this magazine. Now, listen to me. They're a heavy magazine. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. They are a heavy magazine. They are a big magazine. They have a lot of pages in them. And I have two years subscription every one of those magazines are sitting in my basement 
crap, my old crap room down in the basement. There is no way. I'm going to wipe this off because it got on my napkin. There is no way that I'm going to... I, I don't even want to start tearing pages out of them. Because, you know, you look at a page and you go, Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that, I, oh, oh, I can use that. Oh, yeah. I can. And pretty soon you got the whole magazine and it's just torn apart. <laughs> oh, bewilderment. So I'm going to pack those up and take them to the thrift store. I just can't see them going into a recycle bin. I'm going to take them to the thrift store and hopefully they can use them. There's a thrift store that I just found out about through my um, management lady that manages my house. It's called Peppermint Pig. And uh, she says she takes her stuff there because everything that is sold in that thrift store goes to so pretty goes to the animal shelter that is next to it where they adopt animals out and I thought oh if I can take them some stuff yes I would love to support them and they they uh, don't hire anybody to work there it's all volunteers workers so that's good all right, these are little script, and I have used one of these, I think. I don't know if I did or not. They're little tiny script. Um, you can hardly read them. And they're, they got like a postage, like there's a postage mark here, and I don't know which way it goes, and I don't care. And so, I'm going to stamp that in the black. So, yeah. Um, my landlady came and got some. I had a couple of bags of half-used paints. And uh, she came and got those. And she said if she wasn't going to use them, she was going to... Uh, take them to that thrift store she takes cat food and dog food and she had a trunk full of um, canned cat food that she would just cases of it that she was taken to this place which is so nice so yeah so I'm 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 thinking I'm getting my act together. I'm just worried about getting this bed out of here. Um, I have inherited a cousin on Wes's side of the family. She's a hoarder. But didn't say that. Anyway, she wants... I have... It's my mother-in-law's old first bedroom suit that she had the bed frame the chest of drawers and the big dresser with a big mirror on it now she had this in her spare room that's that's pretty cool and when we moved in here she said why don't you take that because um, Linda was had moved in and Linda had her own stuff in that spare room so so we took it and now I don't know what to, I, I, Jean, this cousin is supposed to, she wants it because she wants to keep it in the family quote so she's, I'm waiting on a call from her to see when she's going to come and get this because I need it out of here. Time is getting down to the wire. And I need to get things out of this house. 
and I hate people that tell you they want something and then they sit on it and sit on it and sit on it and they'll ever come and get it. And then you're stuck with it the last minute. That really upsets me. But I'm sure she'll come and get it. She wants it really bad. I don't know what she's going to do with it, but she said she wanted to keep it in the family. So it's pretty old. My mother-in-law was 92 when she died, and her and her husband had it, bought it. It's a, uh, it's in excellent condition. It's um, the mirror has not. You know how mirrors will get like when they get old, they'll get like a, like they're deteriorating. This mirror has not done that. And that's that's amazing to me. I'm getting a drink. I'm getting thirsty because I'm yakking, yakking, yakking. <sighs> I'm going to get some more stamp. Different colors of stamp pads are right here. Now I have a sepia, Olympic green, um, satin red, her haban habanero. I think that must be an orange. This one is smoky gray. This one is Spanish moss. And I think that's all of this, all of the VersaFine that I have. So I'm going to put these back away, except for the Onyx Black. I'll keep that out. Put all these back in their box. I got them in their box so they can get packed away when it's time to pack them away vintage sepia satin red oh, yeah. these were the two okay oh no that one I wanted out okay all right okay now I've got a another Dragonfly. This is a dragonfly one with butterflies. I'm supposed to measure, keep a log of how much liquid I drink in a day for my doctor, for my kidney failure. She wants to make sure that I'm drinking enough. And um, I was in stage two of kidney failure six months ago. And then three months ago, they tested me again and I was stabilized. Can you believe it? I had stabilized my kidneys. And I was so happy. So I want to keep them good. So I'll do everything they tell me to do. Because my mother had kidney failure. And I don't want... I certainly do not want... She had nephritis. And that is... From what my doctor said, that is genetic. And I don't want to... Get it. My mother controlled hers very well with her diet and her drinking of her liquids and so she never did have to go on dialysis and we always thought my mother would pass away with uh, you know her kidneys and she didn't she had a massive heart attack yeah it was not pretty Ooh, look at that. That was uh, 
Spanish moss. That's pretty. All right, let's put that over. Ooh, that even looks better in the light when the light shines on it. Can you see? You can't see it. Can you see now the light is on? Oh, okay. I'll stop now. All right, let's get another one. I'm going to have to do some uh, gluing in my my napkin book here shortly and see how these work. I'm going to stamp it again with the Spanish moss. Yeah, I thought, well, if I'm going to use this in my napkin book, I probably don't want all black. You know, I probably want color in there, so I different color than black. I know black's a color, but different colors. And it's very easy to stamp these without a stamping block. I'm finding out that I watch Know It. Know It Arts, she's from Israel. And she does background pages and she always stamps, usually, usually she stamps without a stamping block. And her stamps come out so good and I thought, well, you know, I can't find my big stamping block. Plus putting it on and off I'll try it this way and it really does work this way works really well I think too with this uh, foam underneath okay now I have this one which is a circle with it looks like it's a circle that is sewn around it You know, it has different... Oh, don't tell me this is going to be a hard one to get off. It has different um, stitches around it. So, let's see. What are we going to use on this one? Uh, let's use habanero. I thought I had a yellow color in this. I thought I bought every color they had, but I'm sure I did not. Back in the day when I thought I was rich. <laughs> Little did I find out that that money didn't last forever. Okay, I thought I was rich because I lived with, we lived with his mom in her house and we didn't have to pay utilities and we bought groceries and that was the only thing we bought and you know, so whatever was left over we should have saved but no, Nancy bought craft stuff. Oh, look. I had some ink in the inside. <laughs> oh, well. I'll stamp it again, and I'll be more careful. I'll get a baby wipe out and wipe that off. I'll be more careful with the stamp ink block. That is a pretty orange. This habanero. I gotta look in there and see if I've got a yellow one. It's probably still downstairs in my drawer. Alright, I need some 
advice from you guys who have moved with your craft items. Do you think these plastic tower things that have drawers in them, do you think the stuff can stay inside of the drawers and just tape them closed and then be moved? Like, my kids are not going to, like, throw them around, either, you know. They're going to be really careful with my stuff. Not like moving people. So, I'm wondering when they pick them up if everything's going to fall out. Has anybody had any, um, has any, has anybody moved any like that? And how did it work? And what did you do to keep the drawers and keep them so they didn't fall apart? I would like to know in the comments below, please. That's your assignment to let me know. Oh, that's pretty. All right. We only have a couple more of these. And then I'm going to sign off and go find that picture of that woman and put it on the back end of this video. And we just have one more. And this one's a two, a two, 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 one, two. Also, well, actually, it's three. So we have this one. What am I going to stamp it with? I want to stamp it with some really good stuff. Um, I don't want sepia. Let's try smoky gray. I don't usually do things in gray, but I'm I am uh, moving out of my comfort zone a little bit here. I don't even know if there's any. I can't see any. This might be one that's uh, dried up, and then again, it might not be. We will check it out. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it right here. Am I still in frame here? I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to the computer. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Can you see it? It's really hard to see with that light, huh? Let me turn this other one on. Ah! Let me turn this one off. No, we need that one on. That is really pretty. I'm going to stamp it again. That, that was not dried up. What was I thinking? That's a pretty gray. I usually, like I said, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I usually don't use these colors. Don't know why I bought these colors. I bought them because somebody was using them on the, in the crafting enabling world. And it enabled me to go buy them. I'm blaming it on that. And that's what I'm blaming it on. Anyway, these stamps, these ones you can use like on a side for a border. Or even right in the middle. I'm loving these stamps, man. I did get them off of AliExpress, and I don't have the, I suppose if every, if anybody wanted them, I could go find the, 
um, URL and put it in my um, description. Now this says Dragonfly Freedom and Dragonfly in the center. So I'm going to stamp that one next and I'm going to I'm going to use um, sepia for that. Probably should put a piece of paper on the other stamps that are next to it. Like I said, these stamps, the stamp pads are really juicy. Really, really juicy. I don't know how that's going to stamp, but I'll try it right here. We can only try, right? We can only try. Yeah, yeah, it didn't do so good. That one needs to be on a block. Okay, let's do the very last one. And um, it's a dragonfly one. <laughs> Come on, napkin, open up. Open, open, open. So, yes, I am getting very, very 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 excited about my move but yet anxious that I need to find people to help me and I think there's going to probably be somebody that wants to earn some money that would do some back breaking work in the neighborhood maybe oh there was uh, an announcement on there yesterday that said there's a, to be, to be aware that there's a guy with a little girl, has a little girl with him, and they knock on your door, and, it, and when you answer the door, they'll ask you if you've seen this guy, and, um, you know, and then they'll, they'll go away, but if you don't answer the door, then they go around into your backyard and go in your backyard and go and ring the back doorbell. And if you don't answer that, then they break the glass and break into your house. Is that scary or what? That is pretty scary. I'm getting that Q-tip to go in here and get this out of here. But I haven't had, and a lot of times I won't answer my door. If I don't know who it is, I just don't open the door and answer it. And um, so that would be pretty scary for me for something like that. But I have dogs. And my dogs will go right to that door and bark. And they sound like they'll take your head off. Oh. That's pretty in the sepia. Let's do it again. Oh, man. I put my hands in it. So, this is the kind of thing that gets posted every day on this next door. It's called nextdoor.com. That's all it's called. And it's just for your neighborhood and a neighborhood next to you. And um, that was pretty scary. All right, guys. I think I'm finished here. 
and I want to thank all my new subscribers and hopefully I'll get some more new subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet and please ring the little bell next to the subscription box and when it pops up mark all and it you will get notification of all of my next videos that are going to be coming up when I post them so subscribe oh that one didn't come out so good on this wing oh dear I gotta do it again subscribe and share please share me around that's how YouTube gets to know that I'm have good contact good content that people like to watch and the subscription doesn't cost you anything it's just a thing for YouTube to um, for my analytic analytics on YouTube to let them know they don't kick me off or anything so but it just helps me it helps me to help YouTube subscribe ring the bell comment leave me a comment please I know you're watching if you could just go on there and say hi how you doing or give me a, a, an emoji of a thumbs up or and that's another thing please do a like if you don't like it you can do a dislike but I would rather you do a like and answer my questions that I asked okay and with that I am talk to you on the next video thanks for watching guys thanks for coming along on this little stamping ride with me okay bye bye